Oh, hello, and welcome to another trippy food tale from the vaults. Today we're going back to 2012, when we took some emu meat from Exotic Meat Market and decided to make emu stuffed peppers. Please enjoy. So for the stuffed peppers, I'm going to actually use this rice blend. Um, it has uh, wild, white, red, and uh, brown rice. And um, I think it's going to make, uh, it's going to add more flavor, more texture, and uh, make a nicer, um, nicer stuffed pepper. So I'm going to use this. Uh, these are the peppers that I'm using. They're actually smaller, so I figured that each person could have one as opposed to cutting a big pepper in half. So uh, we're going to make the rice. Uh, we have the sauce on, and um, I think we're going to make some magic here. Okay, so the meat that I'm using here is, um, is ground emu. I have my, uh, my pan here and I'm going to put in my vegetables that I'm going to uh, simmer or uh, caramelize. Um, I didn't put garlic in here, I just don't want it to be too overpowering because uh, I have garlic in the sauce and I'm going to be using this uh, as filling. So I have uh, criminy mushrooms, um, onions, and again I took some of the smaller uh, peppers that, um, that were too small to stuff and uh, I'm going to put them in there as well. It'll be redundant for the stuffed peppers, but it will also increase the pepper flavor. I'm not going to season this one too much. Um, I'm just going to put some salt, some pepper, and, um, and maybe a little cilantro. I like that this is an Italian dish, and I've got my uh, Italian colors in there. I've got my green, my white, and my red. Of course, I'm going to add the emu, and it's going to throw my color balance all off, but I don't care. That's the star of the show anyways. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add in the emu. I'm going to wait till this gets seared a little bit before I add the wine. Okay, now that this is browned up, I'm going to add a little bit of wine. We're going to go with a Merlot. I don't know why, I just feel like it. Okay, so I'm getting ready to stuff the peppers, and basically I'm going to take peppers about this size, and I'm going to stuff them so each one has an individual one. I'm going to take my emu, and I'm going to mix it with equal parts of the rice, and then I'm going to just kind of moisten a little bit with the tomato sauce, pour a little bit on the top. Um, so, let me get started. So we're going to take a... I'm going to take some of the emu here. And an equal amount of rice. Maybe actually even a little more rice. And I'm going to just moisten it with the sauce. And this is going to be our mixture that gets put in the stuffed peppers. So, there we go. That's a nice mixture right there. Maybe a little bit more rice. Uh, from, and for the most part, uh, when doing stuffed peppers, um, they, uh, they can have uh, meat in it, but it's mostly going to be uh, the rice. So um, having a little bit heavy on the rice is probably okay. And that's probably a good consistency and a good, and a good mixture uh, to go in the peppers. Okay, so now it's time to stuff the peppers. So I'm going to take the top off. And retain that and then I'm just going to take the spines and seeds out just at the top it's okay if I leave some of it in there because you know essentially we're eating that anyways and then I'm going to take the mixture and push that into the pepper now I haven't decided yet. I'm debating 
Um, we may try grilling it, but I think we're going to end up doing the traditional method of, uh, of baking these in the oven. And, and keep in mind, the rice is cooked, the meat is cooked, um, so really essentially all we're doing is we're, we're just kind of uh, baking it to merge all those flavors together and to you know, make the, um, uh, get the crispness out of the pepper itself. And there we have our stuffed pepper. And we're going to put the cap back on it. And we're ready for baking. So what we finally decided is we decided we're going to actually put these on the grill. Um, we put toothpicks in there to hold the tops on and everything. So we're going to actually put these on the grill instead of doing them traditionally in the oven. And uh, I'm just going to brush some uh, olive oil on them and then just stick them right on the grill. We'll just put them right here. And we're just going to wait till they, uh, the peppers just kind of grill up, maybe blister a little bit, and we'll be ready to eat them. Okay, what do you think? It tastes like ground turkey. Really? Well, that's yeah, a new one. It doesn't taste <laughs> like anything weird. Yeah. Uh huh. Of course. It's hot. One more? I have one. Mmm. Sorry. Sorry. Nothing odd. Just a little emu. Sorry, guys. Nothing yeah. to see here. Is it kind of emu y? It's very emu -y. It's probably the emu is a little emo right now though. <laughs> He's not as happy as he could be. Emo emo emu? What do you think? Yeah. Well, we're good. Yeah. But I like me a little salt. Yeah, they're cool. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the trippy food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.